So, Range Rover, 58 plates, how to do a front wheel bearing. A very, very quick one, because I've already stripped it down. <laughs> right, get up in the air. <clears throat> Undo the hub nut. Pull the caliper off and pull the pads off. Uh, 13 millis. Then get the caliper carrier off. That's them very large ones, like that. I believe they are a 21 mil. Yeah, 21 mil. So you get that off. Remove the bolt for the um, disc. And get the disc off. Be right. much harder for you because I've already done this. Um, then you've got four bolts holding it. So turn the full lock on one way. You get to it from behind in there bring them out they're 15s a bit stiff i would advise putting some wd-40 on them so back them out so full left lock to get to these two full right lock to get to the two on the other side and then i'd go full left lock again and basically i got my old trusty lump hammer out give it a few taps from there now make sure your ignition's off now i know i've heard in the past of people doing it with ignition on when they start hitting things with a lump hammer, they trigger the airbags. So be careful with that one. So full left hand lock. So the steering's right over. A few taps on there. If you can't get it out easily, if you get it, if you can see it starting to move, I've got a big chisel. And I just drop the chisel down in behind it until I got it moving a bit further. I put a bar on the end of the drive shaft and gave it a few taps to make sure it wasn't seized. And eventually it just comes off. Now make sure when you put the new one on that all this is nice and clean. I always put a bit, a bit of grease in there as well to help it slide. And the same on the end of the drive shaft splines. So that's what I use. I get it in. Make it go round. I have to get it clean. You can even go over the threads on that if you want to. So cleaned it off. Greased it up. Now it'll only go on one way the bearing. Make sure you line it up the right way. Like that, and it should just slide on like that. If you get on the wrong way, you can twist it around. So you line it up, you can see they're all lined up. Mine come with new bolts and new hub nut. So I'll bang them in and see where we go from there. It's bolted up now. As you can see, it's nice and, nice and snug. I cleaned up all the face as well properly before I put it on. Tightened up that, nice and quite a few auger duggers. All you've got to do is Make sure you hammer the, the lock in. I actually used a 15mm ratchet spanner on the back to get them right in. And then put the breaker bar on just to make sure they're nipped up tight. So the next thing I want to do is put the disc on. I'm also, before I do that, well, while I'm doing that, the caliper carrier. It's a good practice to clean up the actual caliper slides. You might as well, while you're in here, clean it up. So, we'll take it into the van. We'll clean that up with that. Yeah, nice and clean. So, when you put them on, also make sure you clean up the, make sure you clean up the little shimmy things. Clean them up as well, and put a dab of, um, like copper slip maybe, that'll sort it out. So, discs on, caliper carriers on. Pads are in, next bit is caliper on. Make sure everything's tight. Make sure your lock nuts knocked in, wheel on. I mean, I do this for a living and taking me time and shooting a video, it's taking me half an hour. So I would expect any home mechanic to be able to do this in an hour, an hour and a half at the most. Yeah, some of the bolts are tight, some of them are awkward to get to, but nothing's out of the way a very basic Halford set is what I use for my breakdown van so if you've got a Halford set you know an impact imp not gonna lie impact gun does help a Halford set a hammer chisel not a difficult job for a home mechanic